Hi guys, Dom Ngos here and today we work on putting Windows 10 on your Mac. For this job, you need a flash drive of 5GB or larger, a Windows computer and a fast connection to the internet. The first step is to get the Windows 10 ISO file on your Mac. To do this, use the Windows machine, get the media creation tool from Microsoft, you can actually Google for it, run the tool and choose to create a media for another PC. Make sure you pick the 64-bit architecture for Windows 10 and then save it as an ISO file. Once the download is done, copy the Windows ISO file onto your Mac's desktop. Now insert the flash drive into your Mac and run Bootcamp Assistant. Make sure all three tasks are selected. Bootcamp Assistant will turn the flash drive into Windows 10 installer and then download the Apple Bootcamp software for Windows and save it also on the same flash drive. After that, it will help you partition the Mac drive for Windows 10. Remember that Windows 10 needs at least 20 GB to install, so you want to make the partition larger than that for software and data. After the partitioning, your Mac will restart. It will boot from the flash drive and begin the Windows setup process. Enter the window key if you have one or just skip it for now. You can use Windows 10 for a while without activating it. Now, here's the most important part. Choosing the partition to install Windows 10 on. You pick the partition that's marked as Bootcam, then click on Format. Confirm the formatting and then click on Continue. Windows setup will now finish by itself. Once done, your Mac is now a new Windows computer. You go through the initial process and create an account. The first time you log in, you can be greeted by this Bootcamp software setup. If you don't see it though, you can always open the flash drive then the Bootcamp folder and double click on the setup file. Once the bootcam is done installing, restart the computer and you are done. You're now having both Mac OS and Windows 10 on your computer. You can always choose which one to boot into by holding down the option key when the computer is turned on. You can also set which OS to boot as default using bootcam control panel. Now for detailed instructions that also include the download link for Windows SO file, check out my howtopostscr.com. And if you're wondering why you'd want Windows on a Mac, well, first, because you can, thanks to me. But mostly because you should really stop with I'm a Mac nonsense and be happier with your life. Trust me, because I'm Domgo and this has been a quick guide on how to install Windows 10 on your Mac, or should I say on your personal computer that happens to be made by Apple.